Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is the story of Bleak Rock Isle from the Elder Scrolls Online. Bleak Rock Isle is where the Ebon Heart Pact storyline begins. Let's get started. When you arrive on Bleak Rock Isle, Captain Reyna says she could use your help. She believes an invasion is inbound and wants your assistance with an evacuation. She names three people specifically for you to find. The first is a hunter named Darge. When you find him, he's distressed and says there's an evil presence in the Sky Shroud Shrine and the dead are walking. He has a bag of incense to use as an offering to speak to the spirit of the priest, but he already tried and failed to perform the ritual as he was attacked. You take the incense and head to the brazier outside the shrine for him. I hope you have better luck at the shrine than I did. Watch yourself in there. The spirit says a worm has defiled his shrine and wants you to kill the worm. He then tells you that to unseal his shrine, you need to place three runestones on pedestals. You head off to collect all three runestones. Then at the shrine entrance, you place them on their corresponding pedestals. As you enter, the priest again reminds you to kill the necromancer, which you do in the next room. You'll never defeat the Covenant! You have fulfilled your purpose. Well done, Worm. Nearby, you find a note that says the necromancer was banished from the Daggerfall Covenant, which appears to be planning an attack. Outside, you tell Darge about the planned attack. The Covenant here? Trolls blood, I have to warn the village! Searching for the next person to warn, you run into Ralunda outside of Orki's Hollow. She says her brother Ayman is trapped inside the hollow with a frozen man. The frozen man does all sorts of things to people who enter his domain. I can't leave Ayman in there. Since father died and mother left, he's all I have. But she doesn't even know who or what the frozen man is. You enter the cave and a peculiar voice speaks to you. This one's frozen. Is it someone you know? Guess who I am, and I might let him go. You search for clues to the frozen man's identity around the cave and find an old journal. It looks like he was trapped here after a cave-in and forced to eat hallucinogenic roots that drove him insane. From more clues, you learn that he was an Aldmeri Dominion mage who used to spy on Bleak Rock. You confront the image of the frozen man and tell him you know he's a Dominion spy. A spy, am I? But why? Oh my, you're a smart one. Whatever will I do with you? But he refuses to give up Ayman unless you play a game with him. Here I am. Or am I here? Guess wrong, and you're mine, my dear. No fair! <laughs> After winning his game, you confront him again. Your soul is missing. Want mine? It's black and gooey. You try and reason with him to release Iman, but everything he says is nonsense. I tried to save him, but his head wouldn't stop leaking. Now he's a milk jug. Finally, you speak nonsense back to him and he agrees to let Ayman go. As you rescue Ayman, he warns that he saw Covenant soldiers earlier. Outside, Ayman's sister Rolunda is very pleased you've rescued him and she thanks you. Next, you head for Hazen's Folly in search of the third person Captain Reyna asked you to find. You find Sergeant Seen outside a mine, which she says is being plundered by bandits. She stands over a dead bandit and asks if you'll put on his clothes as a disguise and find out what they're up to. Poking around the area, you find a few clues. You learn that, under Covenant orders, they have removed some protective wards and are opening portals to Oblivion. Then you don the disguise and enter the mine. Deeper in the mine, you find a portal to Oblivion and enter it. You run straight to the unspeakable sigil and destroy it to unmake the portal. You leave the mine and report back to Sergeant Seen. You tell her that the Daggerfall Covenant hired the bandits to open Oblivion portals here in search of a Daedric artifact. A Covenant contract? I smell a distraction. That ship we spotted might be the start of an invasion. We've got to get back to the village. We've done all this before. 
You return to the village and report to Captain Reyna. She says the Covenant has arrived and asks you to light the signal fire which will warn the mainland. On the way back, you speak with a wounded soldier, Tilrani. The Covenant is here. They set fire to the village. She says to rescue what villagers you can and direct everyone to head to the tomb. In the village, you kill some enemy soldiers and extinguish a few fires. Then you tell villagers about the tomb. I can make it. Thank you. Kind protect me. Thank you. I'll go. Heading to the tomb yourself, you find Captain Reyna. The villagers you rallied are ready to move. You and the captain take the front and disable traps so the villagers can run through safely. Dodge, bring them through. You and the captain make your way through the rest of the tomb and escort the villagers out through a back door. There are ships prepared, and everyone boards them to set sail for Dalmora. You land outside Dalmora in a coastal region known as Balfoyan. We're here. The villagers are safe for the moment. But the Covenant's still coming. We've got to get word to Darwin's watch. And that concludes Bleak Rock Isle. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one in this series, Balfoyan. Until next time.